It was Friday, the 19th of December 2009. I was laying on the couch in the living room and I couldn't stop crying. I just decided to quit short track speed skating. It was everything for me. It was my identity. And for the first time of my life, I abandoned this dream and I abandoned this identity. And who am I without short track speed skating? It makes me scared and all kind of questions came up to my mind. Because what shall I do and what if I change completely? Would my boyfriend leave me? It was the first time I took the courage to stand up for myself. And believe it or not, but since that moment, beautiful things have happened. I got the opportunity to produce a documentary and a book about my struggles during my way to the Olympics and about my journey to find my true self again. With this, I also wanted to inspire and help other people by building my own platform for former athletes. And the funniest part of all of this, when I quit skating, I went to the Olympics. And not as a skater, but as a crew of the Holland Heineken House. So after all, I went to the Olympics. And what I've learned from all of this Nothing was standing in my way but my own self, my own ego. Expectations from others were more important to me than just be my authentic me. Some of you might also struggle with finding your dreams or, or your goals, but don't fool yourself. Dare to listen to your intuition and don't be afraid for the big unknown. Like Deepak Chopra ever said, you must find a place inside yourself where nothing is impossible. Now, without having reached my dream and my former goal, I can distinguish myself from others and I can be successful as well, since I accept who I am and I have no barriers anymore to be my authentic me. Therefore, my message to you would be, not everything in life happens the way you dream it, you hope it or you want it, but if you experience the challenges seem to stop you, don't fight against them. Dare to listen to your intuition and embrace your failures. Then beautiful things will happen. Thank you very much. <laughs>